Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this Tynex. I kind of took the week off. Well, I didn't take the week off. I've been learning tattooing, and I started working on these folders again, and I've been doing a lot on TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff. I mean, I just feel kind of like uh, YouTube's kind of lost its touch. You know, it just doesn't seem to get as much views and all that, and much interaction and all that. Every week I change my mind. I still love shooting the videos. If there's another place to put long, uh, long videos up, I would. But uh, anyway, I digress. <laughs> It's been a week, so I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, time to get back on these Kydex. I'm not gonna go too in-depth. I got a bunch of in-depth tutorials on Kydex, so uh, I've already got them all marked out. Montage to the bandsaw, and then uh, to the grinder. I'll meet you over there. Put my website up in the card. It's the first down a link. I got Amazon links down there and on my website. I got shirts like this. I got two knives on there, I think it is. One night, I don't know, anyway, everyone's been asking about them, so I gotta get these done. And uh, like I said, I'm rambling. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. Let's get to the bandsaw, enough talking. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't sharp, huh? take it this is a 120 of worn 120 and I'm just gonna uh, hit it I'm gonna take the knife out for now and I'm just gonna do a fast montage we're just gonna hit it on here you know if you want to come up like that you can do that here you know figure out how you want it and then uh, you know you just gotta be careful you don't want to come up into here but that will be the small wheel, and I'll show you what we'll do that next. So, all right, montage of me hitting these out on 120. And then uh, once we get them refined and how we want them, we can take a sanding block like 400 and smooth them out and all that. bucket all right I better go get a clean paper towel and wipe this out <laughs> small wheel time this one's the one I'm worried about the most I put a clamp right here over where the hole is gonna be but uh it's not even <laughs> so we're gonna have to go back and see where we can get this in and if we can have to take it slowly 
When we do the thumb wrap, we can get a little bit of play, but not much. Before I go any further on this one, I'm gonna put a thumb ramp on it. I'm gonna do the other ones and put a thumb ramp on this and see if that, cause man, I got it. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> Just got that little spot right there. Yeah, see, that's the point. I got the clamp right over where that hole is. Like if, you know, the deal was in there and this isn't coming out. So we wanna get it to where it's gonna come out. By the way, I just used the tack lock to mark out these three holes and then kind of space these as I saw fit. See, that one didn't take much. And when we put the thumb ramp in there, it'll loosen it up more. Montage! Well, there's only two left, but let's speed this bad boy up. <laughs> Got them all in. Next is uh, put the uh, thumb ramp in because that's going to loosen them up. But it's uh, what time is it? Twelve fifteen? Nah. Yeah, I gotta go take care of mom at twelve thirty, and then uh, we'll see. So I might see you in a second, or I might see you in a second. <laughs> Whew. All right. So it's uh, a couple days later. Last Friday, I tried to do this, but the heat gun I had or the heat station, I should say. It's not really a heat gun. Heat station I had was climbing up to 400, then dropping down to 100, and then 200, then 100. Oh, do I got dirt on my neck or something? What are you staring at? <laughs> yeah, in case you didn't see my channel trailer, got me some new ink. I'll tell, uh, I'll put the story up here. The whole playlist of the story tells you about my passion and lost passion and all that stuff. Anyway, we'll just get that out of the way. I got to show it off since it's brand new today. <laughs> so yeah, I had to wait for the heat gun to come and uh, it's here now, so let's get these things finished. You can see, I tried to work on them for Instagram here and then it just wouldn't do it because the heat gun kept flaring out and all that. So uh, yeah, let me show you what I do here. I turn this on, boom, get my heat guns on while that's heating up. See, it has this weird climbing thing where it's going, uh, it goes 220, 280, 320, two, you know. So in the other one, one of the components must have copped out one of the chips. It's actually like a, a counter chip. I mean, I, I haven't done electronics like that for a long time, but they have chips on the motherboards and it counts up. And so instead of counting up, it must have, you know, there must have been some mis miscommunication there. <laughs> I'm a nerd, I can't help it. I know all about electronics, but you know, I got a degree as a computer electrician, a computer repair, whatever it is, a computer person, I can build them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, back then I was in the 90s, they didn't like tattoos, so. I have a feeling you guys are hear a lot about tattoos today. <laughs> Yeah, we're going up to like 350 down to 275, so we should be good. At least it's staying higher. Before, like I said, 400, 100, you know, it was just not consistent, so. Boom. 
So you go right on up. Take it out of the heat. Boom. In fact, I'm gonna take this glove off. Bam. One down. Boom. See, that's why I keep the clamp here. Cause we're gonna have to take it all apart and clean it out and take the tape off. And we should be good. Next. Boy, when things work, it's a lot quicker, huh? <laughs> Imagine that, I'm gonna have to clean that up on the belt and stuff like that, it's a little flared out, but it's good. Now, this was the one, look how much I had to take off of that, and it still won't come out. So hopefully the sub ramp works. <laughs> it right on up. <laughs> nice. Now if you watched that last video, I was worried about how this came down, but that thumb ramp fixed it right on up. All right, so I'm gonna take the tape off. I'm gonna clean out the inside. I'm gonna turn this off first and <laughs> unplug it. <laughs> so, uh, let me go shoot for Instagram, and then I'll come back and I'll, we'll take a paper towel, clean them all out. Actually, I'm gonna go to the sink and wash them all out, so you'll see me come back with paper towels in them. Then we'll take the tape off and put the eyelets on. <clears throat> all right, these standing blocks are like 220, so I might as well just show this real quick. See, back here was a little, you know, where it melted a little bit too much, so. Then you also, well, when you wash them out, you can do that, open them up, you know, make sure there's no pieces in here. And that's what you're gonna do. You know, open them up, take them to a the sink and wash them out, make sure there's no scraps in there and nothing. Real quick, I'll show you on the buffer, but, well, well, let's get to the buffer, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, I don't really recommend the buffer because, here, I'll show you, let me get an old one. Here's an old Kydex sheath, you know, for my, now I'm almost thinking about putting some of these old knives up for that sale because, you know, I just need to fix them up a little bit, but they're just sitting around doing nothing. So anyway, I digress, watch this. See this? I don't know if it's gonna show up. But that's become all one because it's all melted. Now it's shiny, or some people like that shiny look. Now let me do it the regular way. And I'll show you the difference between like shiny, burnt, and just cleaned up. First you gotta make sure all the spots are out. I see some spots here. <laughs> There'll be just like little bumps in there. You know, honestly someone that buys it might not notice it. But since I know it's there, I can't have it. Now another thing buffing will do, it'll show you where you miss sanding, like right there, I miss sanding. So I'm gonna have to go back, sand it down, and then keep it down. But see the difference between this? Let me move this, hold on. See the difference between here? It's a little shiny, but it's not burnt. For this one's like burnt together and all one and real shiny and nasty and uh yeah see like real light spots it's it's melted so uh, you know if you like that look that's one thing but the nice clean look here you know that's just the light reflecting off of it but you can see all the spots where it melted right in here but hopefully hopefully the camera picks that up <laughs>
them all washed out. I just take a little bit of Tide because I'm in the laundry room. If I was in the kitchen, I'd take a, you know, dish soap, whatever, and just take my finger, wipe in there, and get them all dried out and cleaned up because you don't want the Tidex to get anything in there. I thought I was forgetting something. <laughs> Got this one all set up and ready to go. Boom. <laughs> Man, that threw me off. All right, let's get the tape off this bad boy. Make sure it's all wiped down. Woo, haven't seen that bad boy for a while. This is that what, 12 inch or 15 inch hollow grind? <laughs> yeah, man, woo, one down. Just gonna be high speed for the rest. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a little shake to them, but that's all right. They're not going nowhere. This one's still real tight. <laughs> all this locked is logos. I'll put the video up in the cards and uh, go to the end of it. And I'll show it shows how to do like the carry where you put it on the oven and you just take a piece. Basically, you just take a piece like this and put it on the skillet and then wrap it around and then put a piece of metal behind there for the tack lock and then you connect the tack lock to it and then that's your carry. Yeah, I'll put that in the video, it's at the end, if I remember. I forgot how good these look, they've been taped up so long. <laughs> they all got a good snap to them. Boom, boom. Well, I already showed this one. Bam! Woo! A moan, a moan, a moan! <laughs> all right, all we got left is logos and sharpening. That's in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave me comments, let me know what you do for your Kydex, what you do different. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know. I have no problem taking criticism. In fact, I think the knife maker community needs to stop telling people how good their stuff looks because it gives a false confidence. But uh, yeah, if, I mean, I just had my friend over looking at, looking at this folder and all he did is tell me everything that's wrong with it, which man, it hurts, but it needs to be done because it's how you get better. All right, I'm rambling. Website's up in the cards. First down in the description. Woo, all right. <laughs> Hope you all have a great day. I'll put the playlist for the rest of the Grind Fest here and my website's right there. Hope you all are having a great day and as always, take it easy. This is actually up for sale. I need to fix it up a little bit uh, from all the things he pointed out. No one else would notice. I don't even notice, but he's a knife fanatic, so he notices every little piece. <laughs> I missed. All right, take it easy.